I just do? I am chromaticizing chords. The first, um, basically I'm playing three chords. First chord is a minor 11th. The second chord is a dominant 7th with the 5th uh, flatted. And then the third chord I'm going to end up playing is um, a dominant 7th chord. So we start off here on the 7th fret. And so this is B minor 11th with this shape form. Notice the pinky is on the B string. It's on the E, e note, the B string 5th fret. And all the rest are on the 7th fret. So that's a minor 11th shape form. The next one is basically taken off of the dominant 7th chord. So remember, I'm chromaticizing it. So I go down from a B to a B flat. Okay, and this would be a B flat 7 shape form. What I'm going to do, though, is take this, which is the 5th, and then flatten it lower there to the, um, to the E. So it becomes... So if you notice the shape that it goes from... So my, um, essentially, my pinky and my index remain the same place. And all I'm moving is my middle finger and my ring finger here, right? So, so the line is moving like this. So minor 11, dominant 7 with a flatted 5th. And then this one becomes a dominant 7, which is an A. So line's moving. B, B flat, A, with it being minor 11th, dominant 7th with the flat of 5th, and back to a dominant 7th, A. Then you repeat the same line, but chromatically, you start it off here, make this an A minor 11th, then A flat 7th um, with the dominant, with the 5th flatted, and then make this G a dominant G7. Then you start it again, right here, minor 11th. Flatten that G to a G flat. That's a, a dominant seventh, flat of fifth. And then you end up with the F dominant seven. So the chords are. Then all you do with your right hand or picking hand is different variations of it. You can do moving bass lines. You can do a variation of a moving bass line. You can do some arpeggiation. So you can go like this, which is, which is basically root, pluck, root, pluck, root, pluck, root, pluck. And by pluck, all I'm doing is I hit the chord. And then I have my I, M, and A fingers on string um, sets. Um, oh, I would say E, A, D, G, B, G, G, I should say D, G, B. These three strings I'm on. That's where the plucking is going. So we go back again. Whoop. can even do this variation. Pluck, I should say, a bass, pluck, bass. So it goes. And if you want to do a turn around, you can chromatically go back up, but just single notes like. Should be the B right here, but I can do arpeggiation with that.
can do it more like a moving bass line. Just have fun with that. So three chords basically, chromatically move them up. And then next time, just try to move them, um, I should say move down, then, then experiment moving them up as well. So, okay, thank you so much. Bye now.